Hello there, welcome to Token Cash. I hope you are doing well. So today I'm gonna do another post game review here. So here's the starting hand that we have. Interesting choices. We have Bird Bender and Behaviorist. Typically the Bird Bender is probably easier to score. So in the tray we have the Red Headed Woodpecker. A great starter bird for the fours. But since I'm going second here, I'm not expecting to pick up the Woodpecker. So the Bonelli Eagle, again, another interesting bird when you have it in your starting hand, great point bomb. But if you keep it, you're going to have less food to start with. Um, the Baltimore Oriole um, is another decent start for the fours if there's a cherry in the tray because you pick up the cherry and play it, you have 9 points, bird, and you have access to 2 food. Um, looks like... That was interesting. I was a little bit surprised that my opponent did not pick up the woodpecker, so... Um, they pick up the wobbler, which was quite interesting, but obviously I have to pick it up here. Um, but again, rule 16, the wood duck, or review the wood duck for my opponent. Um, in this case, I don't think there's any reason they are not picking up the wood duck. But the woodpecker is still nice because um, it allows me to have a pretty good forest if I have both the Baltimore Orioles and the woodpecker. Um, I think I kept the snow bunting for for the wetland and again um, I think the bee eater can be quite good here so the bee eater allows you to reroll the feeder and gain grub it's a very reliable food source in the grassland and you're not giving your opponent free food so that's typically very good um, very good bird to have Surprised that I did not pick it up right away, so I'm kind of gambling on my opponent not picking it up um, while I continue to set up my birds here. Okay, my opponent got to play the Savi's Wobbler. Um, now I see why they did not pick up the Woodpecker because they are running, um, they are running the Fish Crow and Savi's Wobbler, so they are relying on Fish Crow to gain food and then the Savi wobbler, wobbler for cards. That's why they did not pick up the, the woodpecker at the beginning. Um, that's why I have to deny the bee eater once I saw the fish crow because um, if they have the fish crow and the bee eater then they have access to two food um, which would be really nice. Um, and they review the white store for me, which is really nice because uh, now I have the option to gain card in the grassland using the white stork. Um, so now I don't even need to set up my wetland. I can set up my forest here. And then um, if I play both my bee eater and the white stork, I have access to food and cart in the grassland, which is quite nice. Yeah, I, I think the white store combination with the bee eater is like a like an upgrade, a grassland upgrade with the new European expansion. Um, it's it's just a new way to gain card and a new way to gain food with the new birds. So, um, it's a pretty strong combo. I think my opponents skipped the Savi Warblers for quite a few turns. Or at least when they pick up cards, they did not activate it. Um, which is smart. Because I do need cards. Especially I have the Nally Seagull that, um, that I can use card to pay for. So... I think I skip the Oreo too. Yep, my opponent definitely skipped the Sawi's Wobbler there. So we 
we both play pretty conservatively here, um, trying not to give opponent free resources. Now I have all the food that I need to set up the bee eater and the white stork, um, which is quite nice. Now from the grassland, again, three eggs and potentially a grub and a free card. Um, and I already have a strong forest, so um, that grub is not essential, but I, I imagine in late game it's going to help a lot. So I have quite a bit of seed here, so I decided to go with the seed. Um, so my my opponent played the white start here. Um, again, a, a little bit of surprise that they play a one point bird at this point. Um, not sure if that's that's the optimum play. Um, I guess even with the with the grassland with fish crow they only gain one food for one point or one egg so if they play the white star they can gain three food um so it it does help to accelerate their engine a little bit more or accelerate their tempo a little bit more here um We'll love to get the snow bunting down as soon as possible, but at the same time, my opponent doesn't really have any tug, tugging birds, so I'm not too worried about it. So, play the play my uh, cross bill here, six points for the fours, which is quite nice, and I think the bonus is gonna help me to compete for the end of round goals. So, oh, there you go. They they play the. Who the wobbler? So now, um, it's, it become more difficult for me to compete. Went off round goal, but I'm very happy that I pick up the house finch here. Uh, now I have an even better forest now with the house finch. I, I, of I. I immediately upgrade my grassland to a four points engine. It helped me to cycle cards. I gain cards, again food. Um, really can't complain. And the nice thing about the house finch, obviously, is the number of egg spots. Um, really helped me to run the grassland for even longer here. So. I think I could have play the house finch here um i think maybe i was trying to deny my opponent's cards um so i did not play the house finch or i was thinking even after i play my house finch i don't really want to tuck away the other two cards so i don't want to tuck away the banalis ego or the snow bunting but I think I could have just played the house finch and tucked the snow bunting because it doesn't look like my opponent has any tucking birds. So, um, yeah, it doesn't seem so I'm going to make a good use of my snow bunting even if I play it. Um, so I play the rat knot. So they're kind of going for the big points bird here. Um, would be nice if they have, for them, if they have the... If they have the food web expert again, still did not play my <laughs> house finch. I I'm 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 questioning that decision a little bit for sure. Again, I think I was trying to do that to deny that um, the other finch, the cassin, not the cassin finch, the bonus card finch. Um, but I think I might have. Yeah, I, I I wasn't sure if that was really necessary to deny that bonus card finch. Um, they did 
they do have the the exact fruit that they need but um i definitely missed quite a few points here by not playing the finch earlier um also questionable that i tuck the <laughs> the fly catcher given that i have quite a few star nests and cavity cavity nests um, I was probably thinking I'll play, I'll run my grassland for quite a bit, so, um, so I decided to get rid of Flycatcher here. Um, yeah, I was really trying to decide which bird to pick up. Um, leaving the Great Egret for my opponent is definitely not great here because they have the Raven and the Fish Crow. It's going to be very easy for them, for them to play. Um, but the, the wild turkey is really going to help me with my, um, with my aches problems. Now that we have a four point engine that gave me cards and food, I want to run it for as long as possible, but I'm going to run out of ache spots really quickly. So, um, I want to pick that up. Um, the the Wobbler is a nice pickup as well. Again, 8 points with 4 X spots. And I already have plenty of Grub that I can use to pay for it. Um, even, I think... Yeah, the Star Ness. Um... Yeah, I think the birds that I pick up really help me with my bird bender as well. Um, yeah, the Vireo, again, another good bird to extend your egg spots when you're running out. Um, and the star nest is always nice as well, the red eye Vireo. So I'm at this point, I only have two egg spots left, so I have to play birds. So I'm trying to decide. Um, which bird to play. Um, I think there's quite a bit of option here. Again, I'm not sure if the Junko um, is really the best option here. I do have to overpay it um, and hoping that I'll gain grain in the future to pay for my other birds. But at the same time, it's only one point play. Oh, it was quite unfortunate that my opponent did not score for the third and a frown goes there. Um, Alright. Again, quite, quite a few options here. That, that's the bonus card. Um, I can extend my egg spot by playing the Red Eye Vireo and my Wild Turkey. I think I could have done that in the last turn as well, and instead of playing Junko. Yeah, I'm a little bit skeptical if Junko was really worth it in this case. Hmm. Yeah. I think that's definitely some min maxing or some point that, I'm, that I was missing by playing the Junko. So now I have three turns left. I think playing the playing the Banalis Eagle probably is still worth it, especially my wetland is open, so I don't have to spend any eggs. So that's straight eleven points. And I have enough turns to just run my grassland twice and tug with my Junko. So that's going to maximize the amount of points that I'm going to score. Um, so again, my, my opponent playing the big points bird game there. So let's we'll see if they if they score enough points. Um, to beat this grassland engine here, which I must admit um, is very strong. Because currently I'm running a six points engine and I'm getting cards and food. In this case, a seed and a grub. 
um, it's almost as good as you can get um, engine wise and it's interesting yeah I mean look at this engine like typically you know you'd be a really strong grassland engine with the powerful birds like the raven or um, kill deer but in this case a combination of the new European expansion birds like the beater and the woodstore um, I would say yeah this this engine is almost as good as um, a power four engine where you can generate a lot of points and food and cycle cards so they play the rough last turn again wasn't sure probably for bonus card and yep straight 11 points from the Bonalis Eagle last turn no regrets did I score the maximum for Bird Bender? nope but very close yeah again looking back um, that there's quite a few points where I can play differently um, I think the way I play where I play the jungle allows me to um, just run my grassland I didn't have to go back to the forest um, alternatively I could have played birds in the forest using the food that I had and then pick up food to play more birds so um, wasn't sure which um, would have scored more points but yeah there you go ended up with over 100 points um, very nice game there um, it, it was quite lucky in this game that you know I did not start it with a good wetland but um, very strong forest um, my opponent left me the woodpecker that really helped me to set up my birds um, very efficiently because I can gain three and four food at one goals um, and then um, the, the beater and the white stork is such a strong combo um, with the white stork um, you can see three cards every time um, you activate it so that helped me to pick up the house finch and other birds that um, really pushed my engine along so again that was the game I hope you like it um, uh, definitely quite refreshing to see different way to build a grassland engine with the new European expansion bird as always thanks for watching and I'll see you next time